What's poppin' family? It is Tara Chantel. Thank you so much for being here today for another one. Let's talk about these locks, honey. It has been over a year, one year anniversary plus one month in December. And we got some hang time, baby. We got some hang time. Our locks has finally dropped. And it just made me realize today, like, this journey has been so spectacular for me. It has changed my life tremendously having locks. And I have been embracing every step of the way. You know how everybody always complains when they first get their starter locks. Like, oh, it's going to be an ugly stage. And I feel like I never had that because I never had that thought about locks. I embraced every stage that we were going through and had confidence in that because this had made me fall more and more into myself deeper and deeper and how this growth has just been expanding and evolving it has just shown me as a person how far i have came and how far i have grown as a person so it's like when your locks grow it's like you're growing and it's just like i'm becoming more and more myself living more and more my truth being my authentic self and embracing that wholeheartedly unapologetically if you like it you like it if you don't you don't but it doesn't bother me because i like me i really like me i really vibe with me i feel like i'm such a dope soul in this universe in this matrix and i'm honestly a secret agent for god you feel me a secret agent the positive secret agent for god if i do say so myself but you got to keep that on the low. Keep that on the low because everybody not supposed to know. Okay. It's so much negativity out here. So much. It's so much negativity out here. And we don't be appreciating women that are natural. Women who are embracing their crown. Embracing who they are inside and out. And you can feel it radiating from the inner. And then that is going to express the outer and that is how the glow begins to radiate once you work on your inner and i have been working on my inner self and this has just developed the love for self and like choosing myself every step of the way and this self-love journey made me realize like having locks and having my natural hair shows the outer world how much i love myself I'm not trying to hide my crown. I'm not trying to avoid my crown. I'm embracing the growth. I'm embracing every strand of hair that I have and I'm not trying to hide that to the world. And it shows when you rock your natural hair. It shows the confidence you have because the media will tell us that we're not beautiful unless we have this and have that. But I just want to remind you, my beautiful lock family, my natural sisters, embrace this crown. This is your God on your head, baby. This holds energy. This holds royalty. This shows your roots and it shows the elegance that you have upon you. How blessed you are with your hair. So we have to unlearn that we should hide it, that it is frustrating, that it's a pain having natural hair. It's honestly the strongest hair to have. The thicker the hair, the more coarse it is, the more golden it is, the more power it obtains. Because the truth of the matter is our hair sticks up for a reason because it is the connection to God. And once we realize our hair is our superpower, is our source to connect with God on a spiritual level, I know for a fact we then will begin to hold that power within. And especially, I have been just experiencing so much positivity with my locks. So my locks is holding a lot of positivity this way. This way, baby. And this year has just flew by. And I've been documenting this journey every step of the way, but it has 
shown me as the growth continues how far I came and how far I'm going and I'm just building a more deeper and deeper connection with God deeper and deeper spiritual practice within and it has brought so much joy into my life I have so much peace of mind here I have so much love here all from these locks honey it truly has been the best decision I have made with my hair and trust me I did so much to get here I did the big chop I was gradually moving towards this as the conscious I begin to be as a woman. I started running away from wearing wigs and hiding my hair and covering my hair. And I started more and more tapping into my natural hair journey. I feel like the more conscious you be, you want everything real on you. You want to eat real food. You want to be real within yourself you want to rock your real hair and every natural and just embracing the natural wave of this life it's like when you are a natural beauty you want everything on you natural from your deodorant to your toothpaste to what's on your head and this is just the consciousness of this journey and i had to evolve as a person because when i was younger in high school I had a perm, then I had sew-ins, then wigs was a trend, and then I wanted to rock my natural hair, and then I did the big chop. I was like, it gotta go. And once I did the big chop, it made me realize I am not my hair. I am not my hair, and I lost all attachments to my hair. I started really rocking this look of not having hair and i'm like yo you can pull up while you don't got hair what can't you do what can't you do because i think that is a big stigma when we cut off our hair we look too masculine we look too manly and people not gonna want us but it ain't about other people it's about you it's about doing it for you it's about learning about you. It's about stepping into your power. And sometimes our hair can hold us back from realizing our true beauty once we get out of the need to feel like I need long hair to complete me. Because this is society's views. Society has molded this into us that long hair is beautiful, that straight hair is beautiful. Wearing a lace front is what you need to do and rip out all your edges. This is what we have been learning. But when you unplug from the matrix and do what works for you and not care about what any else, what anything else is going on and validate you, accept you, love you and embrace all of you, they can't tell you nothing, baby. They can't tell you nothing at this point. I can go on and on about locks but this is your sign if you have been debating it if you have been contemplating it if you have just started keep going love every stage of your hair and document it as well show them what you're working with baby and own it own it connect with god connect with the inner you this is your natural essence you walking around with baby trust me you're going to have the world spinning, everybody clocking you, and you can't be stopped at that point, baby. <laughs> it is Tara Chantel. Please hit that subscribe button and let me know your natural hair journey, your lock journey, and how it's going for you. This is my one year anniversary. We in such a healthy relationship, honey, and we're going to keep getting healthier. I love you. Peace.